What does the American dream mean to you? Okay, um, my American dream is is um, give is good future future for my kids and I think better life. You know. Mom. <laughs> This is gonna be a long time. <laughs> I know I should have done Crystal's grammar. No, porque sí. A ver, el mal. Está grabando el sida. What does the American dream mean to you, mom? I think the the American dream is really a. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Don't say anything. Say yes. Mom, how was your childhood in Colombia? I think I I was really happy because I I share with my family, with my friends, with. Um, Uh, I remember when I, I get my my best friend. Uh, I know. No. No. I know. I know. Shaking my head. Um, pa. Okay. How was your childhood in Colombia? Pa. Usted va a decir así. Yes. How was it? Pa, how was your childhood in Colombia? Wait, uh, hold on. Shh, shh. Okay, ready? <clears throat> pa, how was your childhood in Colombia? Mm, I was a really kid, happy kid, you know. Because I remember a lot of good things. I used to share with my family, my friends, and I used to go to the soccer games every week, every week. <laughs> Because it was, uh, you know, so I love soccer, and and was really different than today because there was wasn't technology, so everything was not was was excited, you know. What is one memory you'll never forget? Whichever one. Hmm. I never forget uh, my Dora. When my when my husband came to this country, uh, we was in the airport, and Juliana uh, get my husband for my, uh, his neck, and was crying, crying, crying. That's his sad memory. Mm, Pay you. What's the question? What is one memory you'll never forget? When I was kid. Well, in all my life. Um, in all your life. Yeah, I really is that day, that day when I came to this country. I remember everybody was, all, all my family, they were in the airport and Juliana comes to me, she almost killed me. She come, ah, I don't go, I don't go. <laughs> and it was really, really, really bad because everybody was crying and, 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 and I, I, don't, I, I have another, no choices. You know, because the ticket was in my pocket, and everybody was waiting, was waiting for me, so it was really, really bad. Now, how old were you when you two met? I think uh, twenty-one. Twenty-one. Yeah. Twenty-one. Yeah. Twenty-four years. I was twenty-two years old. Mm. Where did you guys meet? Uh, we were working together. When did you decide to have kids? To have kids? Mm -hmm. Before marriage. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, after getting married. Uh, Obviously, uh, after uh, we get married. Yeah, I think I think it's the you know ev when everybody get married, everybody wants to get kids, you know. So, so I think it comes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Why did you move to America? Because you know. In my country, you know, Frank comes to me and he and he told me, "Ah, you mechanic, you like this? You be, you know a lot of things. You're gonna make money right there. You're gonna, 
get 15 or 20 per hour. So and then I I I went to my house. I get notebook and I start to make counts. To make counts, 15 per hour. I can work like 20 hours per day. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna get rich really fast. And and mm. and it's not it's not true. That's not true. You know, that's not true. It's really yeah, it's, it's really really hard. Good, really hard. Who came here first? My mm, when when we get everything ready to come, I came first, you know, because it was really a really hard decision to everybody come here. So I you know, so okay, I came first and then she came six months later and we together decided that was really good life for the kids. Mm -hmm. And then she came back to Colombia, to my country, and and I work really, really hard, like 25 hours per day, to collect the money to get them here. And six months later, there's only 24 hours a day. Yeah, that's why I say oh. 25 hours oh. more like, than day. Oh, okay. Like, more than day. Like 25 hours. You know, I was expecting a day with 48 hours to work to get another job. You know, mm. that's why it was to get them here. How was it? when we came and we were all united again. How was what? How was it when we all came to America and were united again? Where did we live? No mm -hmm. How was when we first came here, me Manuela Mateo, where did we live? Where did we live? Like the apartment? Ah, oh, they, they, okay, was, I remember when, when they came here, um, the first place, the first place was really little apartment, it was only squished, one room. it was a squeeze, only like, one room for was, five people, yeah, it was really hard because, because, you know, you know, the beginning of everything, of everything is, is hard, it's really hard, too. What was your first job here? Uh, my first job was a uh, welder. Mm -hmm. How uh, much did you get paid an hour? It was like I think it was like eight dollar per hour. How did you think you were gonna maintain a family with eight dollars an hour? It was, was really hard. It was really hard because uh, that's why we get just leave apartment. Everything was able was a squeeze, you know. And and then you know I was making friends, friends, and then I get my job today. We have to work in. Uh, he he was working in the first shift. I was working in second, second shift. shift. It was really hard because, because I remember I just went uh, at the night time because I was working like ten hours per day. And then when I get home, she was really fast to work. So we meet like just three or four hours at the night. It was really, really hard. What are some struggles you have had? Obstacles. Hmm. Come on, come on. I think the, the language mm -hmm. um, is too hard to get a job. Mm. Yeah, absolutely the language, the, the language yeah, is, the, the, is the hardest thing in this country harder. because because if you don't if you don't understand anything you you are like what where am I? You know. What is different about now than ten years ago? Um, no, it's really different. I think it's like hundred percent different. Yes. Because now everything is a little better, you know, we are getting the goals little by little and it's a process, it's a process. Do you think you've achieved your American dream? Almost, almost. Not yet, but I think almost.